Hey CrossView families, thanks for joining us on episode 2 of our Big Ten Challenge. Hope you enjoyed the story. Stay tuned after the video for another set of special announcements just for you guys. Can I tell you a Junior Bear story? Well, one morning Junior Bear woke up and he was very excited because he knew that that was the day his dad was going to make a very big announcement. So he quickly got ready and headed down to the river where he knew he'd meet his dad. And when he got there, he saw lots of animals. He saw the beaver family, he saw the duck family, and he saw so many others. But as he was looking around, he heard his dad's voice and he, everybody, everybody, attention, attention, Mr. Bear called. All the animals came and they gathered around nice and close so they could all hear. And Mr. Bear, he called out again and he said, I have a big announcement to make. We are going to have a boat race. A boat race? Everybody cheered. They were so excited about this idea. And Mr. Bear explained the rules and he said, the rules are simple. You will have 100 days to build a boat. And when that 100 days is done, we're all going to meet here at the river and we're going to race to see who made the best boat. Oh, everybody cheered again. This was great news. And Mr. Barry said, but there's more. You don't build your boat by yourself. You get to pick one partner that you're going to build your boat with. Oh boy, there was murmuring amongst all the animals who was going to pick who and who would make great teams and everybody was really excited. Any questions, Mr. Bear called out. Well, that's when Junior Bear put his hand up and, and he said, uh, yeah, I got a question. And Mr. Bear said, yeah, Junior, what's your question? And Junior said, I can pick anyone to be my partner. And Mr. Bear said, you can pick anyone to be your partner. Junior smiled and he knew who was going to be his partner. Who do you think is going to be his partner? I wonder if we already know, right? Well, Mr. Bear, he looked at everybody and said, are you ready? And everybody cheered, yes! Then let the boat building begin! Well, everybody started to find their teammates and their partners and they started to make, make plans and Junior Bear, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He ran straight up to his dad. He said, Dad, will you be my partner to build my boat? And Mr. Bear just smiled and he leaned down and he said, I was hoping you'd ask. Well, Mr. Bear asked, what's the first thing we need to do, Junior? And Junior said, he thought about it, he said, we need to make a plan. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, Mr. Bear grabbed a stick and he started to write in the dirt uh, and, and he started to make a drawing of what their boat should look like. Oh, Junior was excited. It was going to be so big and so tall and all these things. Well, what do you think the next thing they need to do is? Gather wood, right? Well, Junior Bear, he said, Dad, tomorrow let's gather wood. And Mr. Bear said, that's a great idea. And after a good night's sleep, they got up and they started bringing logs out of the forest. And, and Junior Bear, he said, Dad, why don't we bring them right down to the river? Because that's where we're going to build the boat. And Mr. Bear said, that's a great idea. And they, they brought them all down to the river. Well, when they had enough logs and wood to work with, they started putting it together. And the days went along and soon they had the start of a boat happening. And, and, and while Junior Bear was working one day, he heard a voice. Junior Bear, what are you doing? And Junior Bear looked up and he saw the beaver family and he said, well, I'm building my boat for the boat race. And the beavers, they said, Junior, that's so far away. We have lots of time to build a boat. Why don't you relax and it's okay. Come play with us. And Junior Bear said, no, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to work on my boat. Oh, fine, the beaver said. And they went off and they did something else. Well, Junior kept working on his boat day after day after day after day. And soon it got bigger and stronger. And, oh, he was excited. And after a few more days of this, and then he heard another voice. And, and, and he, he looked up and he saw the duck family. And, and they said, Junior Bear, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm building my boat. And they said, why are you still building that boat? And Junior said, because my dad, he said that there's going to be a race in 100 days and we only had 100 days to build the boat. And so I'm building the boat because there's going to be the race. And, and the ducks, they said, Junior Bear, that was so long ago that your dad said that. He's probably forgotten all about it. And there's going to be no race. We don't believe there's going to be a race. So why don't you come and play with us? And Junior, he thought and he said, well, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to keep working on my boat. And they said, oh, fine. And 
they went off and they did something else too. Well, Junior kept working on his boat and soon it was done. And guess what? It was day 99. Day 100, the next day was the boat race and Junior was done and he was so excited. But he also knew that he was the only one who had a boat. And that kind of made him feel sad. Well, the next day he woke up and went down to the river and all the animals were there and Mr. Bear called out, attention, attention, everyone. It's the day of the boat race. And nobody cheered. It wasn't like the first day. And, and, and Mr. Bear, he looked around and he said, but there's a problem. What do you think the problem is? Yeah, I think, I think the problem is there was only one boat, right? Well, that's what Mr. Bear said. There's only one boat. Junior Bear, is this your boat? And Junior Bear said, yeah, yeah, Dad, it's, it's my boat, but I built it with you, remember? And Mr. Bear said, yeah, we, you did a great job here, Junior Bear. This is great. Well, then Mr. Bear, he, he looked at the Beaver family and he said, Beaver family, where's, where's your boat? And, and the Beavers, they kind of looked shy and they said, well, well, we thought we had more time. We thought, we thought there'd be more time to build the boat, so we didn't work on it. Now, now I guess we're out of time. Mr. Bear, he said, yeah, you're out of time. And then, and then Mr. Bear, he looked at the Duck family and said, Ducks, where's your boat? And the Ducks said, well, well time went on and, and we, we thought you'd forgotten all about the boat race and we didn't think there would actually be one. And Mr. Bear looked at them and he said, well, today's a boat race. There is a boat race today. And the Ducks, they felt, they felt really bad. And, and Mr. Bear, he was just about to announce that Junior was the winner of the boat race because he was the only one with a boat, but that's when they heard a loud noise coming up the river. And they all looked up the river and, and they saw a flash flood coming from the mountains. And everybody started to get scared. And, and that's, when, that's when they heard Mr. Bear's voice. And he said, don't be afraid. Everybody in your partners, get up on the boat. Get up on Junior's boat. And so they all paired up and all the animals, they went up on the boat. And just in time before the waters came, Mr. Bear grabbed the door and he closed the door. And all the animals were safe as the water came rushing down and picked the boat up and floated it down in this flash flood. And Mr. Bear, he called out, don't worry, you're all safe. And as the boat floated along, it got stuck on a, on a, on a high part of sand and, and they just waited there till the water slowed down and the flood was over. And when it was safe for them, Mr. Bear opened the door and all the animals in their pairs came out of the boat. And when all of them had left and gone off into the forest, that's when he heard his father's voice. Junior Bear, I'm so proud of you. Junior Bear stopped and he looked up at his dad. And he said, what, what, what do you mean, Dad? And Mr. Bear said, Junior, when I gave my instructions for the boat race, you started working on it right away. So you believe me. And, and when, the, when the Beaver family, when they, when they said that they were out of time, it's not that they were out of time. They didn't use their time well. They didn't do what they were supposed to. When the Duck family said they didn't believe me, you did. You see, Junior, you kept working on what I told you to do. You listened to me, and I'm proud of you for that. Even when no one else did, you did. Junior Bear, he looked up his dad, he said, well, Dad, I really liked working with you. That was the best part. Well, they went home and that night as Junior was getting tucked into bed, he looked up at his dad again. He said, Dad, thanks for helping me build my boat. And Mr. Bear smiled. He said, no problem, Junior. Thanks for following through and doing what I asked you to do. And Junior Bear went to bed that night knowing that even when no one else would listen and no one else believed that his dad was going to do what he said he would do, he did. And he always would want to. Hey, Crossview families. Now that you're done episode number two, I got a big question for you. Why do we tell Junior Bear stories? Because they tell us Bible stories. In the description below, you're going to find a link to a Bible study page. Go check it out. And as you're doing the Bible studies of family, snap a picture of that, send it to us here at Crossview, and let us know what you're doing. Hit that like button below. Hit the subscribe button. Keep up with us here and what's going on. Also, check out the Memory Verse video connected to this story. 
and we'll catch you on episode number three.